what is the excellence of mujahideen hazrat abu taid qudri radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports that a man said he asked who is the most excellent of all peoples who is the most excellent of all peoples prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a believer who performs jihad in the path of allah with his life and with his property so there you are verse number 95 allah says al mujahideen bi amwalihim wa anfusihim so jihad can be with their with their bodies with their souls and with their money and wealth so jihad is not just fighting it can be spending anything time money wealth riches anything in the path of allah and how how is the excellence of a mujahid as at abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in nisai that the example of fighter in the way of allah is like the one who keeps fasts continually who stands erect in adoration always fears allah and continues bowing before allah that is ruku and continues prostrating that is sajda a person who is in continuous ruku continuous qiyam continuous sajda continuously fasting and continuously in a state of fear of allah and then allah has promised allah has taken the responsibility to help and to protect a mujahid hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in tirmizi that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah is responsible for the help of three people number 1 a mujahid a fighter in the path of allah number 2 a slave who pledges a bond to play his price to his master for his freedom makatibat and the third is one who just gets married to be safe from sins from immorality or committing adultery he just gets married so the person allah will take charge he will be he will be helping him looking after him and supporting him similarly one who fights has a ibn umar رضي الله تعالى عنه reports in ibn majah the prophet has him said one who fights in the way of allah one who is like or one who performs hajj one who fights in the way of allah who performs hajj or who performs umrah all these are the guests of allah allah summoned them and they attended to his call so when they will pray to allah their prayer will be granted acceptance the supplications of mujahideen will be accepted is the promise of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it's not just about the mujahideen people who are going to help them have always have always tried to support them they ha- also have an excellence hazrat abdullah bin amr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in abu daud the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said for a person who goes to take part in jihad there is one reward and for a person who sends one to jihad by helping him with funds there is double reward one for the funds and one equal to that of the mujahid himself so the person who is going to spend money or who is going to monetarily or economically in any way support the mujahid is going to get double reward Similarly has a Zaid bin Khalid Juhaini radhiyallahu ta'ala who reports in Muslim the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said one of the two men should go for jihad and the other should stay behind to look after the house both will get equal reward so the helpers the supporters those who spent for the mujahideen have been promised equal reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us understand the merits of jihad the excellence of mujahideen and make us one of those who do jihad in any form or other and accept all these deeds from us and may these deeds be a source of prayer may be these deeds be a source from release of hell and may these deeds be a source of entering for all of us in in the jannah ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك الرحمه انك انت الوهاب سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين امين ثم امين